Hello and welcome to the devotion for Friday, July the 13th, entitled, Dream Big. Now, as we uh, have been talking all week about new horizons, about knowing that God wants to do life change, He wants to take us to new places, He wants to grow us, to expand us, every once in a while, we have uh, this thing where I don't want to really ask God for a lot, I don't want to, you know, you know, I mean, you know just help me get by, just... That is not the way a loving father wants to treat his kids. He wants us to dream big. He designed us, created us with the capacity to have his kind of character. He says we're in his image after his likeness, that we would do great things, that we would dream big. And as we were talking about... uh, Uh, As Judah was talking in the video where he was talking about Abram uh, was in his tent and goes, look around, Lord, look, right now, just look. And and he got trapped in that small-minded mentality. The passage, and I want to read it to you, in Genesis 18, 14, uh, God says, is anything too hard for the Lord? Now, that's a great question. Is anything too hard for the Lord? And the answer is... Obviously not. If he could create the entire universe, if he could do the complexity of our human body, if he could bring about all of these different things, nothing is too hard for God. In Jeremiah 32, 27, again, it says, I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me? No, it's not. The next thing we see in John 16, 24, Jesus says to his disciples, Until now you have not asked me for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, and your joy will be made complete. In other words, he wants to do what loving fathers do, which is bless his children. Now, in Ephesians 3.20, we read these words. Now, to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine according to his power that works within us, to him be glory in the church throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Who is able to do immeasurably more than we can hope or imagine. Now I'm telling you, I can imagine a lot. And it says he can do immeasurably more than that. Uh, At the uh, beginning of the uh, message, uh, when Jonah was talking about, uh, you know, youth pastors go, well, we got 30 kids, we're hoping to get 16. He goes, there's millions of kids that need to know Jesus. we got to get our our mind expanded. God's not looking to do a little thing. He's looking to do great things, immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine. And like I said, I can imagine a lot. I dream big, but why don't I ask God big sometime. I don't want to be uh, greedy. I don't want to be, you know, X, Y, or Z. Well, surely enough, I don't need to be greedy. I don't need to do things that would be hedonistic just for, quote unquote, me. But I want to do big things that make a difference and matter to God. In the same way, uh, James 4, 1 says, what causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from the desires that battle within you? You want something, but you don't get it. You kill, you covet. Listen, but you cannot have what you want. You quarrel and fight, but you do not have because you do not ask God. Why? He says, I want to give you good gifts. I want to pour over you and lavish you like a loving father. The reason that we don't receive, he says, because we don't ask him. Now, again, the same thing that we just talked about. And when you ask You are not receiving because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. In other words, I don't ask for healthy reasons. I ask because I just want more. I just want more. I just want things. I just want stuff. And he goes, okay, I'm not going to do that because that isn't going to be a blessing to you. But if you ask for healthy things, I want to give them to you in great abundance. I'll think about my own children. You know, I don't, I don't want them uh, to uh, live in rags because it makes them humble. You know, I don't want them to barely get by. I don't want them to scrimp. No, I want to bless my children. Why? Because I love them. Now, I'm not going to give them something that is going to destroy their life or give them something ignorant. And if they ask me for things that are truly hedonistic, I'm not going to requ- uh, do that request, just like God wouldn't do that, as he said here. But I want to bless them. 
And I love the look on their face when I'm able to give them something that they never believed they would have. When they get that gift or that opportunity that they go, I can't believe you're doing this. And I go, yeah, I love being that kind of dad. And God loves being that kind of dad to give us immeasurably more than we can hope or imagine. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I want to believe big things for the church. I want to believe big things for my kids and my family. I want to do big things that honor you, that bring glory to you. And so, Father, we just ask that you would expand our vision. Lord, that we would ask for the things that you have put in our heart, those desires, the things that are uh, seem too big, seem too grand. Lord, as long as we're not being selfish, Lord, and, and we want to give you the glory and let you be honored, we ask that you would do big things in our life, immeasurably more than we can even hope or imagine. And that, Lord, we will be careful to give you the glory for it, to give you the honor, and to rejoice in you because you are the giver of every good and perfect gift, Scripture says. So, Lord, we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, guys, dream big because we have a big God. Is anything too hard for God? Answer, no. So dream big. And I'll see you Sunday morning.